What's up, y'all? It's Prophet Gaming here, and we're back with uh, part 34 of Red Dead Redemption 2. And um, we just did a a bounty job with uh, sweet, sweet Sadie. And now I guess we got to go back to our farm to Uncle. So let's see what uh, the next episode has for us. Let's get it. All right, guys, so I got to go and get a jacket because obviously my jacket. Oh, AC. It's not even. Um, hold on. Who's my horsey porcy? Hey, bub, let's go. Before they, they close, man, we got to get a jacket before they close, baby. Let me see something. My bad, G. Did I do land? Yeah, I did. Anybody say something to me? Go ahead, say something, chump. I'll bust you up so bad, man. Uh, my hat. I thought I bought a hat. I thought, I, yo, why am I wearing this garbage? Yo, go ahead, keep talking shit, man. Keep talking that shit, man. And I'm gonna just, I'm gonna blaze you. <laughs> what? Dog, where's my coat? Bro, my coat, my coat, my coats. My coat. Hello? There we go. Okay. Now we're ready, boy. Come on, I mean, girl. No. Let's keep going. Got my shoddy ready. Smooth as butter. Look at me, man. I'm look like I'm in style, man. Let's go. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. Don't be sarcastic, I'm prick. Joking. I'm joking. I right, better be. I'm gonna help you, friend. I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know. Yeah. Tell me, there's these houses you can buy pre-cut? <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. Okay. Which house do you want? Hmm. Each one is entirely unique, but cut, also huh? the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks. Maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, uh -huh, yes, we mm. have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you mm. write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there. I need my change, damn it. And you will be the proud owner of a factory built home. It's that easy. Is he reading these Pleasure documents? Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. Nice. You boys give me a minute. Hmm. What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He um. said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. Left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This Skinner's about we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's going to be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon. You're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're going to be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fellow up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about That's to get fine. shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. Get All right, your ass on the horse. Let's go buy us some tools. Or wagon, rather. Let's go. I know the quickest way. Do you me. know? Man, 
and this thing is slow. Oh, it's because he's in front of me. Is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? He's both. Think a bit of both for what it's worth. Cash is cash, so it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? I suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Mm. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. Okay. And if a robber <clears throat> sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for high, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Mm. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait. No. Trust me on this. You are overthinking it. Mm. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrent. Mm. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. Mm. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before. And maybe I can handle a weapon. Maybe. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Hmm. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Now, where were you? People the next right. how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. Hmm. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones, mm. chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. Mm. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Well, do you, though? Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, mm. but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Door. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. Is the spot just up ahead? Okay. Allow me. Yo, give me the tools. Give me that work, son. Nails, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best Smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any maid? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. Hmm. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. Hmm. He's putting the tools in the... So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Hmm. Come on, let's get moving. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Got a new jacket, right, homie. Then. Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Oh, I know they have. I took a <laughs> look at it myself, as it so happens. It seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me, but more power to you. That's what I do, I man. Seen something in it I couldn't. Whoa. Well, glad he's dead. We don't have to pay him. We don't have to pay your ass. <laughs> Hold on. They get too close. You know the shotty's coming out. Oh, that's it. Shotty's coming out. I 
see the marrows. Run, bitch. Oh, shit. Come on, man. Don't do that. You do this dumbass. Come on. What you got? Anything? Never try to run from me. You All understand right. that? You alive? No. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. Is that the last Was your boy, man? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. No. Mr. Wayne. I got right. him. You stay here, guard the wagon. Charles, come on. Let's go. Help Hold on. You're not taking my tools, dog. I'm gonna clap your ass. I got some cover. Thank you. Oh, on the trees? Oh, hey, asshole. Something like healing. Mr. White, we're coming. Oh, okay. You know Fuck off. You, you want it back? Shut up, nigga. Hmm. Where you at, Where's bitch? Wade? Found the tools. Now, I found Mr. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> Shit. Mr. Wayne is no longer Mr. Wayne. He is dead. Ah. Uh. Oh. Jesus. Come on, bring him back. Bring his dumb ass back. Come on. We gotta move fast. We gotta act fast. Hold up. Let me loot these characters, man. Punk. God damn it! A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Good. The other one's next, man. They gonna get pot knocked off too, y'all. You see how I, I work with them hammers, man? I got tools and I got tools. You understand what I'm saying? You see how I work with the hammer and how I work with the hammer. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, you lucky because I need I was gonna loot their ass Charles, definitely need it you all right carrying him? I got it. he's starting well, to decompose already is he, is it it's starting to stink bad? They opened him up pretty good Mr. look Wayne, at the wagon bro we have to get out of here you take him in the back wagon come on help me. all 
right. This shit off. Man. Let's get out of here. The skedaddle. Hold on. Before we go, I need loot, man. What's this? Look at this bum ass. Come here, bitch. All right, bet. Snake oil. I like it. Nice. Stuff my horse. Shut up, guys. Cigarettes, man, they got everything for me. Thanks, guys. Thanks, idiots. You're driving. Let's go. All right, that we driving fast too. Get Let's get out of here, bro. Let's get out of here. If anybody tries anything stupid, I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. No, not for, not for long. This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. Yeah, that's what I thought. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. Mm -hmm. But rarely just for the fun of it. Right. Was fun for them? No, not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Mm. Uncle! Is he sleeping again? Uncle! Uncle! I was a, you useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Oh, what happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once Somebody pay this, this man. I'll take Mr. Devon back to town. Get poor Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Well, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. For now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Shut up, man. Sure. Sure, whatever you think. You say so. Yeah, well, if you say so, man. Lucky I'm pop your ass. All right, anyway. And John. Mm hmm. I yes, love Abigail. You. Love you Don't too, you baby. Don't you forget that. Why'd you leave me then? Hmm. Hmm. What's the big idea? What is the big idea, woman? Alright. Let's go see Uncle. Where's my hats? Morning to you. Hey, what's up, man? Wait, I can cook. Get it cooking, man. We're hungry. Nope, I guess I can't cook. I gotta go hunt. Otherwise, I'm gonna starve, man. Fast travel? Nah. Weapons locker. Man, I can put some weapons up. Um, hats. Where's my hat? Yep, that's the one. This is where it's at. I'm gonna save this outfit. Yeah, we good, man. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Give me my hat. There we go. What? What? Stop saying no hat. There we go. Looking good. All right, weapons locker. I don't need too much. Actually, no, I'll keep everything I got. Never mind. Everything's with me. We gotta start building this, man. My shotgun is bad, bro. Yo. What are we doing, Those Uncle? Plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. New Jerusalem. How hard can it be? <laughs> But I'll tell you what I think, just to be safe, mm -hmm. I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that he's is lazy. plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Mm -hmm. Or you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. 
Let's get started. Okay, you well, idiot. First thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a lumbago. six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, hmm. here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We got to get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. Yeah, I should right. shoot him. We should get on with this. Let's build. Oh, that's cool. Very nice. That's cool. They're actually building a house. Amazing. Nice. That's cool. I like this. <laughs> He well, helped out a let lot. Me have a rule and a saw and a board, and I'll cut it. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail, and I'll nail How are they nailing it to brick? Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. Yeah. In the snow or the rain. I wish Sadie was with us. Wind, sweet, sweet Sadie. No matter. No matter. What the weather. Weather. We're together. We're together. Oh, there comes the rain. We got a little fireplace. Thanks, man. You made me some uh, coffee, so that, that helps. That counts. Wow. Impressive. Man is a he's a real man, man. He's building houses. Nice. Hmm. I love it. Place to stay now. Wow. That's incredible. ourselves a house y'all this is a great sequence <laughs> So do you. Oh, hmm. I know. Oh, boy. <laughs> and you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> you got a home, brother. Look at that. That's beautiful. Gentlemen, to this happy home. At least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> hmm. You all right? My, 
Darling Abigail. Sweet, sweet Abigail. I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. According to her. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours. And we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes hmm. kindly helped me buy the land. Okay. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank and... While I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful. Right. In his own fashion. Hmm. Charles Smith has also appeared mm. and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Yeah. Together, we've built you a home. Hmm. I hope soon to show it to you. Yeah. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Hmm. Please. Come back to me. Yours always, John. I would have left her ass. Cowboy builder. <laughs> if she left me, I'd have been like, bye. And I would have got a new girl. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay. So we rocking this. This will be barren. I got a shave, though. Is there a shaving kit? Some pomade. Look at that. That is beautiful, man. The home I built. Ah. Uh, Uncle, I'm... I thought you was. Where the hell? Yeah, find this nigga, man. Before we do, I gotta go in there and sh I gotta go shave, man. I need to shave, dog. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I'm not sitting down. There is no sitting. Take my whiskey, man. But somebody, you know what I mean? My whiskey, dog. Down the fridge or something. Is there a shaving area? No, I need a shave, dog. Like, I really need a shaving kit. All right, we're gonna go see Uncle, man. Uncle Bumpko. Come on. We're gonna go see Uncle Horse. Let's go. Good girl. Good girl. What's he doing up here? Hold up. For the whole fence, man. Hmm. Get your punk ass up, man. Unless he's not dead. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? <laughs> no. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So That's... that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. <laughs> this is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. Mm. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Right. Get on with what? Farming? Ranching? Planting something? The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so grazing cows, cattle. sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, yeah. you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? Mm. You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The mm. lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Oh, boy. 
trust on the horse. Fat boy. No fat boy. Let's go. In the black water. Let's go. Some country rube doesn't know a pre cut home from an outhouse. Man, don't make me do it to you, man. I want to rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I got to respect him for it. Because if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Uh, I got my shoddy I might gold. I do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Mm. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. Mm. You need some sense to negotiate and some charm wouldn't hurt neither uh, and that's you is it huh. with your famous way with people <laughs> watch how he You're does he's probably gonna do is. good I got to help you all don't jar don't doubt all him all john debt. uncle's not that bad yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt i'll lose my home mm. and i do so like it there you like it too much yeah you gotta go with my wife though comfortable ah, you ain't even got furniture not yet Cakes. I know someone who's got the cakes. Her name is. is Going in there with my shoddy, man. Is there a place I can get my hair cut? Because I am a shit show right now. We open? And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? Oh, I'm sorry. I, uh, um, how are you? Hmm? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> hmm. Maybe that one. Uh, we're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's home. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. Uh, it, it's hmm? great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. Hmm. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer and I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but this man <laughs> is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I don't. Oh, Sadie. Hey. Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? So, girl. Well, hello, how you Uncle. Doing, girl? Nice to see you. And you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I, you got any work? Kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A Bad. bunch of money. My debt's climbing. And I... You up for a fight? Is mm -hmm. it legal? Well, it's very legal, All but right, it's it. also pretty dangerous. I'm ready. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. Let's get it. Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Right. Tell the bank. Look, I'll shoot your fat ass. Money coming in. Let's go. To help with that barn. Let's go, Sadie. Easy. I have it on good authority. We can find this bounty a painted sky. I know the place. Okay. Mm. I'll follow you. Oh. There's two ways to go about this. Oh, yeah, baby girl. Come on, Sadie. Check this out, Sadie, right? I need some dead eye, girl. Ramon Cortez is around those parts. Just split up from his gang and stuck in West mm. Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Hold up, waiting on some out. Yeah. We're gonna get you him first. Let's get him, Sadie. Sadie, baby. We need the money, baby girl. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's Ramon. with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios. And some Californios. regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. 
just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. Hmm. <laughs> Charming to a fault. Hmm. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burning, killing, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. Mm. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. I'm sure. <laughs> hey, listen, uh. Real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I vacation. But right. it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. Nice. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about. Was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got a hold of this fella I'd hired. Oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. Yeah. I'm sure you did the best you could. I did. I've heard, well, uh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I don't want to know. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. Timber. It's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. Mm -hmm. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Mm. This what? is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Let's get down and take a look. You I don't want this. Barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get it. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Hey, yeah. Oh, I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. Uh, it'll all be over soon. Shut up, nigga. What? Oh, bitch. You got him? Yep, I got him. I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <clears throat> Jazz. Huh? Yeah, that's him. Dirty ass. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. <coughs> Put him on the... Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. Yeah, Ramon. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Mm. I should clap his ass. Sweet, 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 Sadie. Hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll be you good. He'll be real good. Oh, shut up. Yeah, shut your dumb ass up, bro. You know what I mean? Handle you, son. With this revolver. What do you say about that, chump? We out here getting bread, bro. We are out here getting bread. Nice. I need to get a haircut. I need um, shotgun ammo when I can. Come on, horsey, horsey. Bring Cortez around the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Cortez, get your bum ass off the horse. Come on. Get your ass up. Yeah. Get your punk ass off the horse, punk. Come on. Um, horse. Move. Nope. Be quiet. I'm never uh turning Sadie in, man. That's my girl. What's wrong with you, man? Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Swarm dead. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. Where he belongs. How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> Jasta. Uh, hey, how much you want? 
How much any of you want? I'll give two thousand dollars in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Mm -hmm. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Nice. Or uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Mm. You did a good job. <laughs> mm. Ramon is gonna hang. I <laughs> uh, love it. Look at that, it's beautiful. He thinks I'm I'm gonna be bribed? Nope. Ramon is gonna hang. Time is bad. What do we have here? Oh no, his gang is here. Uh oh. Oh, do you? Oh really? Don't be a dumb bastard. Don't be a dumbass. I got it. Let me let me at him. Don't duck. Don't duck. Enjoy that, sucker. Bitch. That's my horse. Bitch. Eat shit and die. I'm right here. Oops. What was it? Oh. Jail. The jail. They blew him out. They blew my jail apart. He's gone. He's oh, gone. Oh man. What about my money? Well, we brought him in. Now pay us what's owed. He yep. ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Yeah. Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A okay. hundred dollars. 75. Yep. I can't go higher. All right. Done. Let's okay. go, Jim Milton. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? So all this. Mount up. Hold on. But let me at least loot these clowns. Like, all that for nothing? Wedding ring? <laughs> he was gonna get married. Not anymore. Piece of sh. Hold on, Sadie. I need stuff for my horse. You know how it goes. You know. <laughs> I'm gonna get that old bastard. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Get his ass. Yo, yo. Oh, he ain't got nothing to offer. He's broke. He's broke. Let's go. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Oh, that's so, right. Uh, he did there. say that. Sure. You bet. Bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And I you're know. about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. Excuse me. Not stole off Sadie. Both of us. Someone Calm down. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks. Waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse? Yes. Yes, we were. I don't... Hold up, man. See, y'all niggas got me confused. The sheriff's man. done a lot to bring Rose into line since the time of the Grays and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah. He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He better, or else Cortez is dead. Come back with Cortez. 
coming back with it. Yep, that's Don't right. Don't you worry about that. I can ensure that too. Thing, isn't it? We'll take two hundred dollars from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. He owes us we double. Take two thousand dollars from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I Listen. never said I was tempted by it. I am. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, their God, the state. Mm. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounty. All right, I'll be loyal to God, homie. I got a reputation for honest work. Okay. So, everyone with the price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. Mm. No, I don't know. Usually, if so I they're got into who deserved what, second guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. Mm. If the price is high enough, you got to oh. trust there's a reason they said it. So what about that man? Rationale works out for all of us. Right. What if it? What if the price is me? Then what? Down there, fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. All right, bet. What are you doing? Tapping that. Never mind. Sadie, why don't you say we go back to my place and, uh, you know? Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Oh, sweet Sadie. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through. Mm. So maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. I like you. that. Me. Can I cover you? You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. <laughs> but it's okay for you. Honey, I'm a better shot I than you. I wanna die. And besides... Those bastards don't look that tough. I, mm. They look asleep as far as I can tell. Okay. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Really? Do as you're goddamn told. What? Girl, don't. And shoot well. Don't you dare come at me like that. You wouldn't have came at Arthur Morgan like that. Hey. Got him. Ha <laughs> ha Right in the nuts. Ass cheeks. <laughs> Come on, man. Melon. Everybody, I can't see anybody. Oh, here he is. Oh, now you want me to get down? Oh, that hurt. Excuse me. Whilst I oh, 
Uh, Sadie. What? I shoot okay. They're still alive, ain't they? Shut up, Sadie. Bro, what? Hold on, you know what? I need a little focus. Enjoy it, sucker. Hmm. Don't tell me to go, you go. I'm a better shot than Sadie. Let's let's just be honest about that. Shady about to get herself shot, man. She thinks she's a hot shot. Shut up. This is what I do, Sadie. Shut up, girl. I'm trying. Uh -huh. Black guy. Something's up his sleeve, man. Yeah, I saw that boat, man. Get out of there! <laughs> he thinks it's funny. Sid, he got something up his sleeve. Easy, easy, girl. Oh, you get Tie his ass up. Long time ago. Chip punk ass. <laughs> Lucky. Hey, There's more of them coming. Hey! Let's throw that key! Shut your gut! Pick him. Now. Pick him in his face. Alright, bet. Hold up. Y'all niggas ain't getting out that easy. Damn. What's he using? Don't ever disrespect me, son. This is my other gun. Better not be anymore. We might just be. Are we done or are we finished? <laughs> I got him. Let me get that fool. Snake oil. Nice. Before we go, you know. I right, bet. You know, I gotta loot some folks. <laughs> Show him and we can go. Who's that dumbass? Come here. Get so, dumbass like on we're him. Saying before. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Yeah, Mrs. Adler. Okay, let's go. Hold on, shut up. I'm the boss, not you. I wear the pants. Hold on. Shut up, woman. Alright, let's go. There you are, Missy. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? 
You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman. How do I you smack him? Dead man. But the Lobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you. And we will How do I smack him? You and anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. Where? Uh, you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse. Mm -hmm. About to be taken to Santa Anita hang. You ain't good for anything. Right. Nice good swear. for nothing. Of course. Because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon. I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me. If that's what we agreed. <laughs> what the hell are you talking that's about? That's Ronnie. I couldn't trust you to kill me. Mr. Gold. Mr. Gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will, because you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time you got left. Mm. Ah, Sadie, Sadie. Sadie, Sadie, Sadie. <laughs> Come on. Keep up, Sadie. I thought you was leading the pack. So, back to what you were saying. I damn you, woman. Damn you. Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Hmm. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you. Oh, you did we? Took the money. You should have taken it. Oh, really? Now, now we're gonna come for you. I well, who's we? Because you're dead. Come for you. Well, I hope they know How do I punch him? Where to find me, because I'll enjoy the fight. I, come on. Big mistake. Real big mistake. Oh, we that's got what him, you keep George. saying. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <sighs> you just can't get enough of me. Put mm -hmm. him in the wagon for me, would you? you got right in jail. there. Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Hmm. Me and the boys will ride him to Santa Knee right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go, Where's my I'll money? pay you when I deliver him. Plus seventy-five dollars. Exactly. Now goodbye. Let's go, boys. Better have See my you money. Soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You can send my money to the bank for me. Of course. Thanks. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? We're just nothing. we're doing legal stuff, just man. A Relax. Simple arrest. Money for old rope. Mm. If you say so. If Zero you partner. say so. If you say so, Sadie. Right, what do we got here? My debt's climbing. I don't even know how much my debt is, but hey. Is what it is. I should rob a bank or something. Oh, nice. That's good. That's good. All right, y'all. Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of RDR2, man. And we'll be back very shortly with the next, hopefully, last episode. Because we want to wrap this up because we're going to be playing Horizon Zero Dawn. All right, guys. Till the next one. Peace.